Welcome to the Macmillan Report. I'm Marilyn Wilkes, your host, and our guest is James Levinson, the Charles W. Goodyear Professor in Global Affairs and Professor of Economics and Management, and the founding director of the Jackson Institute for Global Affairs at Yale University. As the Jackson Institute's first director, Professor Levinson brings a wealth of international experience to that post. His fields of interest include international economics, industrial organization, economic development, and applied econometrics. Recently, he has studied the impact of HIV AIDS on unemployment and school attendance in South Africa. Professor Levinson has lived and worked in Senegal, Botswana, and South Africa. One of his projects, now in its 11th year, trains government officials, university faculty, and students and NGO staff from over a dozen countries in South Africa on how to use data to inform policymaking. Today, we'll talk with Professor Levinson about the new Jackson Institute for Global Affairs. Welcome, Professor Levinson. Pleased to be here. The Jackson Institute just opened its doors um, a month ago in September. Congratulations. Thanks. Let's talk a little bit about it um, and its mission. So we really have three missions. They're all interrelated. Uh, our first task, if you will, is uh, that we are the home of the undergraduate major international studies and the master's degree international relations. Mm -hmm. Those two degree programs are uh, the focus of our, our teaching. We also offer courses that are open to all students in Yale College. Mm -hmm. So we have some service courses as well as courses for our majors. The second thing that we've really focused on is bringing practitioners. We, uh, they're senior fellows at the Jackson Institute. These are very uh, distinguished uh, people who have had careers in global affairs, mm -hmm. bringing them into the classroom. Uh, Yale is just chock full of wonderful speakers on any given afternoon. And my goal is to get people to come and to engage, not with an afternoon lecture, but teaching an entire semester or at least several weeks. And we have a number of, of these Jackson Fellows who are currently on campus and, and teaching courses. Okay. Let's, the, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, the third uh, thing that we focused on, I mentioned there were three, mm -hmm. right. uh, is offering career services to Yale students, but with a special focus on students who are interested in what you might think of as non-traditional or, or non-business oriented careers abroad, careers in diplomacy, careers in the State Department, careers in government, careers with NGOs. Mm -hmm. um, so we have that office up and running also. Very good. Let's talk a little bit about um, the first part of uh, you know the students and, and the classwork. You're training um, students basically to be future leaders. How are you going about doing that? We're doing that by trying to give them the tools they need uh, in a world that we don't really know what, what it will look like. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're trying to give them uh, a toolbox, we're trying to teach courses that use economics, that use political science, tr uh, courses that draw on the experiences of the Jackson Fellows so that they will be able to succeed in a pretty agile way um, and respond to uh, a marketplace that, quite honestly, I have no idea what it will look like five, ten years from now. The senior fellows, as you mentioned, are heavy hitters. Um, one of them, I know, is General Stanley McChrystal. Um, tell us a little bit more about the fellows in sp uh, specifically and, and how you chose them. So we have a wide range, uh, and we wanted to get a group of senior fellows who were quite obviously distinguished, but bring different things to the table. So you mentioned General McChrystal. Uh, Stan McChrystal is teaching a seminar on leadership, uh, something he's very, very uh, well qualified to do. I, I've sat in on the first uh, class or two. It's fascinating, just fascinating. Uh, about 20 students, a mix of mostly graduate students, but we saved about six or seven slots for undergraduates. Um, so he speaks on issues of leadership, and he has a group of people coming in talking about leadership, um, what, it, what makes for an effective leader, leadership in an age of 24-7 media coverage. Mm -hmm. He has a, a fascinating syllabus. Uh, we and have some of the other ones? Some of the others. So we have um, Steve Roach. Mm -hmm. Steve is a former president uh, or chairman of Morgan Stanley Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, in the world of Wall Street economists, he's a rock star. Mm -hmm. um, Steve is teaching a course titled The Next China, 
Uh, most of our courses we expected to have maybe, you know, if we were lucky, 50, 60 students. I think Steve has something like 200, 250 students. Uh, and he's, he's drawing on his experiences both as an economist and as a business person um, who's been working in Asia for the last many years. Uh, also on the economic side, uh, Rakesh Mohan is a senior fellow. Rakesh was the deputy governor of the Reserve Bank of India. Uh, sometimes when I'm describing this to friends, I just say, well, he's the Ben Bernanke of India. Mm -hmm. uh, he is, uh, it, it's really fun to have an economist teaching a course, not so much drawing on a textbook, although Rakesh is a distinguished PhD economist, but he's also the guy who helped set interest rates for 1.2 billion people. Mm -hmm. He's thought about these things. Okay, so you have China covered, India covered. Um, what about the Middle East? Middle East is fascinating. We're thrilled to have Marwan Mawashir as a senior fellow. Uh, Marwan is the former deputy president of Jordan. He was Jordan's first ambassador to Israel mm -hmm. and former Jordanian ambassador to the United States. Uh, he's doing a course on Middle East peace, has a wonderful simulation exercise. It's a great class. Your experience, um, your extensive experience um, out in the world, um, I'm sure is going to be influencing um, what you do at the Jackson Institute. How, how are you bringing your personal experiences um, in terms of shaping how the Jackson Institute grows? So I'm, I'm actually going to try to not bring my personal experiences at least too heavily to bear. Okay. I'm only one person and, and there are many different and fascinating career paths. Uh, I've done a fair amount of work in developing countries mm -hmm. and uh, that will be one of the areas of focus for the Jackson Institute. Uh, I've been recently working in the field of global health as well as economics and we will be offering a number of courses in, uh, in that field. I think there's a lot of interest and a lot of expertise on this campus in the field of global health. Uh, we, there's wonder, there are wonderful programs at the graduate level, but undergraduates haven't traditionally had as much, as much access uh, to those courses, to that field, yet the interest is there. So we'll be adding courses in global health, courses in economic development, courses in uh, development more broadly, what are the institutions required for countries to thrive, uh, but, for example, I have virtually no experience in the world of diplomacy, mm -hmm. um, yet that's one of the areas of focus of the Jackson Institute. Uh, we have multiple diplomats uh, who are coming or are in residence, and I think that'll be fun, too. Wonderful. And you are teaching a course for undergraduates that I hear is very popular, Gateway to Global Affairs. Um, tell us a little bit about it. I understand sure. there's four parts to it, and I'm wondering how, um, how you chose the themes for the class. So this class is fun. It's, uh, we've chosen, as you noted, four topics. Mm -hmm. um, the first topic was U.S. immigration policy. What should immigration policy be? What are some of the forces that uh, come to play in thinking about the politics as well as the economics of it? And for that module, I think of these four topics as, as comprising modules of the course. For that module, Gordon Hansen, uh, an expert on immigration policy from the University of California, San Diego, came and joined me. I taught the part on globalization. He taught the part on immigration. It was fun. We have about 200 students in this class, mostly freshmen and sophomores. Uh, it's fun to teach a class where last spring, most of these kids were in high school. Mm -hmm. um, that I love the, the being able to bring global affairs to a new audience. The what about the other three, uh, the other three segments? Sure. So you have the. So um, the second segment's ongoing uh, right now. It's mm -hmm. on U.S. energy policy and national, excuse me, energy policy and national security. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have Jim Woolsey, the former director of the CIA under President Clinton, teaching that. Mm -hmm. uh, he's great. He was a courtroom attorney for 22 years uh, prior to uh, some of his other many jobs, and he's been fascinating. The third module leaves the United States altogether and will look at policy around HIV AIDS in sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor Nicoli Natras from the University of Cape Town will teach that module. And then the last module will be pr uh, Richard Goldstone, Mr. Goldstone is the author of the so-called Goldstone Report on the U.S. 
on, excuse me, on the conflict in Gaza. He's also, though, known, um, perhaps, less, uh, perhaps less well known, but equally important. He was the chief prosecutor for the Rwandan and the Bosnian genocide trials, mm -hmm. and he'll be doing a module on the role of international law. Wonderful. How, um, where do you see the, in, the Jackson Institute um, in the next 10 years? What are your aspirations for it? Wow, Marilyn. So we've been open for two and a half weeks. So mm, ten, 10 years feels Putting like you on a, the spot. 10 years feels like a while. Uh, I would love to have just an incredible undergraduate major that's mm -hmm. well established and that is uh, drawing great Yale College students who are going to go on and really impact the world around them. Uh, and it's a major, I think, that will equip them to do exactly that. I'd like to have a world-class master's degree program. Uh, and I'd like to continue. I think we're off to a great start with our Jackson Senior Fellows. Uh, I want to keep that rolling. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. For more information about Professor Levinson and the Jackson Institute, please visit our website at yale.edu backslash Macmillan Report. Be sure to join us again for another episode of the Macmillan Report, made possible through funding from the Whitney and Betty Macmillan Center for International and Area Studies at Yale.